Bon matin, mes amis. Good morning, my friends. Aujourd'hui, je vais fabriquer les phrases avec you. I want to uh, construct some sentences with you, some phrases. I have a copy of a um, vocabulary sheet and say de vocabulaire um, que j'ai envoyé à vous la semaine dernière. I sent it home to you guys last week. And here attached, we have um, translations of English and French. Donc, en anglais, à la droite, English on the right, et français à la gauche, French on the left. And I want to take as many of these bridge words, les mots pont, and our vocabulary words from our play, les mots de vocabulaire de notre pièce, uh, pour construire les phrases, to build sentences. So we're going to do one together. Um, année première et deuxième, So your first and second grade, I want you to focus on doing three word sentences. Donc, les phrases avec trois mots. Mot is word. Three words. And our troisième et cinquième année, our third to fifth graders, if you can push yourself and try to build longer sentences, I would love to see that, where you are able. Um, one thing that you can do if you're not super confident, if you're petit peu nerveux, a little bit nervous, is to look in your place. Um, so the fifth grader, I'm sorry, I have a kitten here. Maybe we can have a visitor today. You might help us. Yes. <laughs> Voici notre chat. Here's our cat. De notre pièce from our play. Le chat à la lune. Et il s'écrit beaucoup. He cries a lot. He is an orphan, and so I've had the pleasure, um, la joie uh, de se arrasser, to nurture him. He's very upset. Um, so he's going to hang out with me. Et parler avec vous and talk with you guys while we work on our vocabulary together. Okay, so today we are going to look at our words. And I want us to start with, um, let's start with le chat, because we have one with us now. Le chat. So, la majestueuse for le, that means the. That means to whisper. I'm sure you've heard me say that in class. Le chat. Le chat. And let's find cry out, because I know that it's on here. And that would be very accurate. That would be very accurate. Let's see. C'est cri. The chat c'est cri. Cries out. C'est cri. And a way that we could explain extend this, an extension would be le chat s'écrit. And what could he cry out on a qu'est-ce qui se passe, what's happening, or eu au secours, help. I think that notre chat ici, our cat here, would be saying, what's happening? Because je suis en train de s'asseoir sur um, ma chaise. I'm, on, I'm in the middle of sitting on my chair. He's saying, qu'est-ce qui se passe? He wants to come hang out with us. Donc, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Je suis en train d'enseigner. I'm in the middle of teaching. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? Et c'est une phrase interrogative. This is interrogative sentence. And these are the equivalent of our quotation marks. So we would see in a book, quand quelqu'un parle, when someone speaks, we do this so we know that the dialogue is happening. En français, on utilise les flèches. We use arrows. Like that. Donc, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Le chat se fait qu'est-ce qui se passe et on finit avec un point. Okay? So there's an example of one. I would like us to work up through... Um, Maybe aim for three, grade ones and twos, trois phrases, et les troisième et cinquième années. Let's see how many you can get. I'd like you to aim for cinq, cinq phrases. Cinq is five, okay? If you are needing to look through and find some bridge words, so if you're wanting to bridge characters, so le chat et le chien, tu peux faire um, le roi, Le cheval et le chien. That's a really valuable one to use. A is very important. That's is. 
that one's great. And U, I'll add that here, U is or in French. So we could say, um, let's see here. Esseker, and we see Esseki, who is. Esseker is what is. Esker, say, what is it? Le chat, u, or le chien. Is it the cat or the dog? And then qui is who? Qui s'écrit. That would be a very advanced sentence, but I just want you to see how we can use those bridge words to make different things happen in our sentences. Qui s'écrit? Et ça c'est une question. This is a question. So we do point interrogatif. And we know that it is the kitten that cried out. <laughs> Merci, mes amis, pour joindre you. Thanks for joining us, the chaton, the kitten, and myself, Miss Cat. Et, um, ne hésitez pas, don't hesitate, pour demander pour l'aide, to ask for help, um, d'une parent, from a parent, ou de moi, um, from me, while you build your sentences. Merci beaucoup, à bientôt.